Hi folks, thanks for HighlandAndroid.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we'll be rooting the LG G3. Let's go ahead and do this, baby. Uh. So let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and root uh, my T-Mobile LG G3 here. Uh, but this method is compatible uh, also with uh, AT&T, T-Mobile, um, Korean uh, G3, and also a bunch of others. Now, I'm going to be using a manual method because at the time of this video, um, the root method we're going to use uh, is called Purple Drake, but they don't have um, a script for the Windows version. Now, if you have Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and grab the actual, um, their uh, script. I'll have a link to their thread. You can go ahead and use the script and just, you know, click on it. Um, also, you can use this method too and learn a little bit about ADB, which is my preferred way uh, doing it manually. I shouldn't take us too long, uh, either way. Um, so first thing we'll need to do, um, oh, what you will need to do, um, since the root method changes all the time, and uh, in my previous phones, I found out that people get mad um, because they're using uh, ICS root method when you know the phone has been updated. So make sure you check my site. I'm gonna go ahead and update all the root methods. Um, so go check lgg3root.com. Um, check the how to root lgg3 page and uh, make sure it's compatible. The way to check it is um, go to about phone and settings on your phone, go to software information, um, check your Android version number all right, and your build number, um, get the last three digit, digits, uh, 10C, and of course, um, the model of your LG G3, so I have a T-Mobile G3. So um, go check if that root method will work. Will work. Um, I'll have it all listed, but this root method currently works uh, for T-Mobile, all the Korean Note 2s and the D855, uh, some of the D855s. Uh, the international version so go ahead and check that first and make sure it's compatible and also uh, right now there's actually an easier method uh, for AT&T for example you can go ahead and use towel root uh, which is an app you can just go ahead and download but does not work on the T-Mobile G3 um, so let me go ahead and show you using uh, this method um, once you have checked that it is compatible next what you want to do is enable USB debugging um, so go to software information and go ahead and hit the build number a bunch of times uh, it says one step away and it says you're a developer. Now what this will do, uh, if you go hit the back button twice, uh, it will give you new uh, developer options. So go ahead and go into developer options. Um, go ahead and enable USB debugging. Hit OK. And then go ahead and plug in uh, your USB cable. All right, and let's go to our computer. All right, you can use Mac, Windows, or Linux to uh, root your LG G3. Um, if you do have a Windows computer, um, go ahead and open up Device Manager. Um, go to your Start here, go to Control Panel, uh, and then go to Hardware and Sound, and go to Device Manager. Uh, it may be slightly different if you have a different version of Windows. You can probably Google it and find a way to also do it. Um, go ahead and uh, um, check that you have LG Mobile, blah, blah, ADB interface. Something with ADB will be fine. Um, now, if you've never installed LG drivers on an LG phone, um, go ahead and download the drivers. I'll have the drivers on my site. Um, so go ahead and download, uh, install the drivers, and you'll probably get this in your device manager. Now, once you have this set, um, we're ready to go. Um, next. Go ahead and download fastboot.zip. This is basically the ADB files um, I extracted from, um, what is it, the uh, Android SDK. This way you don't have to download the whole SD, uh, SDK and spend your whole day trying to get ADB working. Um, you can go ahead and simply get this. Um, this will give you all the files you need for uh, Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, so go ahead and do that. Uh, same thing for Mac or Linux. And it's probably going to be in your downloads folder. For me, it's under my downloads uh, fastboot folder. It made a new folder called fastboot. Um, also, if it doesn't ask you, make a folder called fastboot and put it in there. Uh, makes everything easier later. Um, next, also go ahead and download uh, the uh, purple drake asset.zip. You can go ahead and download the original version. Uh, but since we only really need the asset files uh, for manually rooting, um, so go ahead. I just zip the two files we need it and go ahead and uh, extract this 
and you'll get a folder with purple Drake asset with two files. Um, go ahead and copy these files. Um, do a right click copy, all right, and copy it into the fast boot folder. This is all the files we need. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and open up a command prompt or terminal for Mac or Linux. Uh, go ahead and go to start, a search, and type CMD. Um, and this will open up terminal for Windows. All right. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and type CD downloads uh, space, sorry, uh, slash uh, fastboot, like that. Um, same thing for uh, Mac or Linux in your terminal, uh, most likely exactly the same. I'll, I'll have the exact same, exact um, commands you have to type for Linux or Mac, for those of you using Linux or Mac, or you can also use the script again. Uh, that's probably easier, um, but you can learn so much more by doing it manually. Um, all right, once you're in this folder, let's go ahead and root our phone. All right, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see better. All the commands we're gonna type, um, are over here, but uh, let me go ahead and show you. Uh, first, first thing you want to do is check, make sure you're connected to uh, through the ADB. So type ADB devices, all right? And this should uh, say that, um, this should show your device, all right? It says offline, right? You should get something like blah, blah, those, that's your serial number. Um, go ahead and go to your phone, and it should say allow USB debugging now. Go ahead and hit OK. And if you did that earlier, you're good to go, but um, you probably have to do it now. And then go ahead and type ADB devices again. It should say uh, device. So now we're ready to go. Uh, we're going to simply copy and paste all these commands here. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and copy this and do a right click paste. All right. And for uh, Linux or Mac, you'll need to add, uh, the commands are slightly different. You have, you have to do dot slash ADB dash Mac. Um, so, you know, go check my site. I'll have all the commands you have to type instead. And your phone have should have rebooted into a special recovery mode here. And next, we're going to go ahead and type the next, copy and paste the next command. All right. And the next command after that, these are the rooting files. All right. And next, we're going to do, uh, we can just type it, type ADB reboot, which is a command that will just reboot the system. Um, these are the um, files that will root your phone. I don't know how exactly it works, but um, you know. Um, but we just learned to use ADB. Um, you know, sometimes your screen screen is dead or something, or you know, your buttons don't work. One of the buttons uh, break. Then you can use ADB to reboot into recovery. Um, so when this is done, we no longer need to be connected. Our phone should be rooted. So let us let me change the camera angle real quick. Hi, right, folks. So now um, your phone has been rooted. Now you would still need to install a rooted app such as SuperSU or SuperUser. Um, you can just grab it off the Play Store. So let's go to the Play Store. And we're going to go ahead and download SuperSU. All right. And go ahead and install SuperSU and run it, and uh, it will update the binaries to the latest one. Uh, basically, um, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and open. And if it asks you to update the binaries, just hit continue and hit normal. And installation success, if you don't get any errors, that means your phone has been fully rooted. Um, now, um, this will give you full root. And let me go show you how to uninstall root fully. Uh, if you want to take OTA updates or something, if you have a problem with root, um, go ahead and go to SuperSU settings. Um, go ahead and uh, find full unroot. Ah, where is it? Full unroot. If you hit this um, and continue, it will fully unroot your phone, reboot, and it'll be like you've never rooted your phone. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we have full root by installing a rooted app such as Tiny Titanium Backup app, which I highly recommend you to use to back up all of your apps. Um, this is great when you're installing new custom ROMs. Uh, you you're back up all your um, uh, apps, and then after installing the ROM, you can restore all of your apps with your data. Um, that's how we do it. Let me go ahead and open this. And boom, shakalaka. We have root for Galaxy, no, sorry, <laughs> LG G3. So I have too many phones, I'm getting confused. Um, so there you have it. You have full root. Now, if you want to install custom ROMs, um, you'll have to install Twerp. Um, I'll have, I should probably have the video if you're watching this in the future. 
Um, so check my site, and uh, you'll have to install Twerp. Uh, but otherwise, you have rooted your LG G3, and uh, that's how you do it. And thanks, you guys, for watching this video, and you probably learned a little bit about ADB. Uh, and uh, don't forget to donate to um, the Purple Drake guys. I'll have the uh, donate links uh, in big link, uh, because without those guys, we wouldn't have root uh, for the T-Mobile G3 especially. Um, so definitely donate uh, if you have some expendable cash or you're just rich and you like helping people. Uh, anyway, that's about it. And thanks you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my rooting video and uh, my future rooting videos will be posted at lgg3root.com. Also, I'll probably make a YouTube channel called lgg3root um, if it's not taken yet. Um, the reason why, for those of you asking, why I don't make one site for all the phones, uh, then it becomes impossible for users to actually browse through that site. Um, also, it makes it easier to put everything um, in one site. That's why I make a new site. Um, also, you know, as the site gets larger, um, you know, I won't have problems where the site gets too large and it gets slower. By having a new site, um, it makes it easy for me to deal with and for the users. Um, so it's really for you guys. Uh, anyway, I'll be posting all the LG G3 stuff on my new site, so check it out. And uh, that's about it, and I'll see you guys soon. As always, uh, stay <coughs> on Android.